Your brain is more likely to remember the unfinished tasks you have yet to complete compared to all right before i continue remember to subscribe to the channel that will help out the channel a lot and thank you to the people that have already subscribed now on to zigernic effect the easiest example i can say will be for students to forget what they studied after an exam you study really hard for an exam you remember everything that you have to write down in the exam but after the exam after one week two weeks or one month you forget everything about them you know it is true the information will not be completely out of your mind but you will not be able to recall them as easily and that can be an example of zigernic effect you are more likely to remember unfinished tasks you have yet to complete compared to the tasks you have already finished i did not finish the sentence in the intro and now just a little bit about the history of zigernic effect it is named after a russian psychologist named bluma zigernik the main idea came to her when her professor Kurt Lewin observed that waiters are more likely to remember orders of the tables who have not paid the bills. It sounds obvious. Why would waiters remember the orders of people who already paid their bills? So, Bluma Zigernik went out and did a research to find out the implications in other ways. And in her research, she gathered people and gave them different tasks and puzzles to complete. And out of all the people, some of them were interrupted before completing the tasks and some were able to complete their tasks uninterrupted. And you might have guessed already, the people that were interrupted before finishing their tasks were able to recall the tasks better than the people that finished their tasks without any interruption. There is a reason behind it all. Your mind requires closure. If there is something unfinished, there is a slight cognitive tension in there that is going to keep the task on your mind until you finish it. I'm sure you have felt the relief from stress after completing a complex task or a long project. And there have been later studies that align with the findings from unfinished and unfinished tasks. And that is why studying something with breaks in between to do other tasks or study other subjects is better than cramming it all together your mind will retain the information better and tv shows or sometimes books in a series end with a cliffhanger because of this they want you back for more i hope you understand the basic gist of it all sometimes marketers and advertisers also use the zigernic effect to try to keep their products in the customer's mind the 30 second ads where something is interrupted and a product or logo is shown is actually using the zigernic effect. There are also examples of well-known songs or jingles that are suddenly stopped to talk about a product or just show a logo of the company to make use of this effect. I will not be able to show any ads in this video but I will talk about one that I still remember. Zigernic effect might has something to do with it. In that ad, a man was getting ready to ride his bicycle outside while there are rain and thunder outside. And just before getting out, the ad is over and you see the logo. Actually, you see the product during the ad, but the logo is shown just before the man starts riding out in the thunder and rain. I would not remember the ad just for that. No, there is another layer to it. A song plays during the ad. The opening in this song is really catchy and just the word thunder is said three times. The same company has a lot of other ads. But I remember that one. I will leave a link in the description section below if I can find it. Now I hope you understand the Zigernic effect. If you have any question about it, you can comment below. 
I might answer your questions below in the comment section or I might answer your question in a new post in the community section. You can also like, share and subscribe to the channel. Doing any of that will be supporting the channel. And if you want to directly support the growth of this channel, you can support me on Patreon. I have recently reached 3000 subscribers. I'd like to thank every single subscribers for that. Now, a small bonus. Nobel Prize 1912 in Physiology and Medicine. The prize went to Alexis Carrel. He was French, so apologies if my pronunciation was incorrect. He won the prize for his works on vascular sutures, meaning he found out ways to sew blood vessels together without harming the patients. There are other accomplishments made by him, but this being a bonus section, I will not go into details. You can find out more about him if you want to. I will leave a couple of links in the description section below. You can check them out. And now this is the official end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are still watching, remember to take care of yourself. I know you can. And lastly, I really hope you have learned something new today. Goodbye for now.